Hey everyone. All right. Well, here we are. It's Tuesday after work. We're at the corporate offices. Apologize if it's a little dark or a shadow here on the patio. My wife so loves it when I uh, do uh, mechanic work on the patio, but it is what it is. Hey, uh, all right. So this is our 2024 uh, Honda Rubicon that we just picked up a couple of weeks ago. And we basically uh, got it outfitted uh, for farm use. So, you know, um, we work things at the farm and I have a lot of jobs to do. And uh, the primary use that we're gonna have for this Honda is basically, uh, there's multiple uses. Number one, we're gonna put a sprayer in the back. You can see I got my Yeti cooler sitting back there at the moment, but that will actually have like a 20 gallon sprayer back there. And what we do with that 20 gallon sprayer is we spray fence rows with Roundup to keep the weeds and cedar trees and things from growing up on our fences. Uh, just makes for maintenance free work. Uh, also, uh, we spot spray weeds in the pasture if we see some really nasty weeds coming up like bull nettles or uh, berry bushes or uh, things of that nature, we do a little spot spraying. Uh, we'll try to get those. Uh, so what did we do? So let me tell you, I've been working on this for about a week now and uh, man, there's a, there's a lot that goes into this. So we'll start with the LED lights. First thing I did, was I added a huge light bar to the front of this. Uh, really, really like the way this thing looks. Don't know what the brand name is on this thing, but man, it is bright. We got it off Amazon, so I'm sure it was made in China. But then in the back, we also put two lights. Once again, we're in the full daylight. Put these back here. These are more or less work lights. In other words, they shine down on the ground but let me tell you, when it's nighttime and you're out in the middle of the country and it's dark, 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 whether you're hunting, uh, checking on cows or whatever, you need light. And uh, especially if you're getting tools out of the back or something and you drop one on the ground, you want to be able to see it. So I like to have lights on my vehicles. One thing, Honda, I'm a little disappointed are those are not LED headlights on this Honda. And uh, so they're the old yellow looking lights and just not that bright. I think they could have done a little better versus the white LED lights that I just put on. All right, so the next upgrade we did, we put Titan racks on the front and back. I got this idea from uh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Uh, he put them on his uh, Honda four wheelers and they are very versatile. They're generic racks. You can mount them pretty much any way that you want to any type rack system. We used a couple of the U-bolts that were supplied. I did paint the brackets black just so they match in. Up here, instead of using the factory uh, supplied hardware, I actually used uh, some fender washers and uh, nuts and bolts. I wanted something a little lower profile. Then we made a homemade cell phone slash drink holder. I'm left-handed, so great place to put your cell phone and a uh, drink as you're riding around. We came in here, I mounted a couple of switches. This is a rocker switch for an auxiliary power. And what we did there is when I get ready to use my sprayer, look right there, my sprayer is ready to go. All I gotta do is plug in, look at the grommet on here, very nice, very functional. And uh, that way I can make connections to a sprayer just instantly. I made a short hose. I can have this thing connected and ready to go. I don't have to be fiddling back here with the little switch that's in line with the cable. I can turn on and off here. We may even put a little boomless sprayer back up here to cover like a 12 foot swat in the event if we wanna cover uh, weed control in a small area. So, what else? We used the Titan rack on the back. This Titan rack actually came out even further than this, but they had some points where you could cut it off. So I actually cut it off, spray painted the ends on it. And that way I have full access to the seat and the battery. I can pull this off. There's no problems. That was a nice upgrade as well. Uh, we also put the, uh, I want to say these are Grasper brand. Uh, gun rack, tool rack. A lot of times we'll carry a freedom stick. If we're not carrying a freedom stick, we might be carrying a fishing pole, might be a shovel, who knows what. Uh, most likely it's gonna be two or three T-posts as we're going out to fix fence somewhere. One thing I like about this Rubicon is that uh, it gives us the ability 
to have very little impact on the pasture. And what I mean by that is when it's wet, the tractor leaves ruts, it tears the ground up. The tractor is heavy, heavy, heavy with the big lug tires. Uh, pickup trucks are heavy, they leave ruts. Uh, mine, especially being a three quarter ton diesel, that bad boy is heavy and it'll get stuck just about anywhere. Now, uh, you know, and even uh, the side-by-side -side Kubota, it's light, but not compared to this. A four-wheeler is just very light. It has minimal impact on the pasture, leaves very few ruts behind, if any, and that's what I love about it. Also, this is just great if we wanna ride around, look at the cattle, check on the cattle, and it's just me, or if I'm just going out to do a quick repair somewhere, uh, this thing is fast, easy access. I love that I can even ride side saddle, opening and closing gates. Uh, there, there's just a lot of benefits of it. Uh, can't say enough about it. Let's see, what else? Oh, we did two more upgrades. One, sorry for the, uh, the shadow on this, but we added a uh, top toe, two inch receiver adapter and, and once again this is not for heavy loads this is pulling a little lightweight utility trailer we actually put a uh, sprayer behind it for spraying in the pecan orchard uh, very minimal now one thing we did because of the spraying that we anticipate to do and one problem we used to have with our uh, polaris sportsman was that the uh, we just didn't have enough battery power so uh, we would pull on the battery and it would actually um, cause the battery to drain, which would stop the electric fan from working and we would overheat on the Polaris. Well, now I have two batteries in here. We installed a second battery. We used a True AM battery separator, which is just really a cool little invention. Uh, this right here was designed for a little tool kit. Here's the uh, cables for my spray rig when I hook it up but we got the factory battery. Basically it's connected to an isolator, which goes to the uh, second battery. When this thing is running, it is charging both batteries. The accessories on here are only pulling from the second battery. They are not pulling from the first battery. And you see it's a very tight fit with that grommet, but very nice, got a cap on it. My accessory power is there. I'm hooked up and ready to go. Once again, the work lights, so guys, let me know what you think, man. Do you think she's ready to go to work? What else do I need to add to her? But I anticipate a lot of success with this Honda and I'm excited to have it uh, beefed up and ready to go. Of course, bigger jobs, we'll still use the Kubota side-by-side -side 850. I can't say enough about that thing. I love that side-by-side. -side. But this is more solo. This is more like a uh, quick strike force uh, vehicle for the farm. All right, guys. Hey, as always, glory be to God. Thank you for your support. I mean, the channel is growing slowly, but surely. And uh, I really enjoy reading the comments and uh, interacting with you guys. Hope you have a great week. As always, glory be to God.